Well, guys, hell has frozen over because I'm in Florida and it's fucking 40 degrees. Holy shit. But in other news, Turtle Wow has come out with their latest, some people call it FOMO event. I'm not quite too sure on how I feel about it. Mostly neutral, right? I'm mostly not too caring. But there is one thing that's kind of making me in eh about it. So if we go over here, this is their latest announcement. <clears throat> so... They're going to be doing this fashion event, and over the course of the next, I don't know, like a couple of weeks, like two, two and a half weeks, if you level up for every levels that you get, or this right here is just for logging on consistently, so if you log on seven days consistently, you get points, but if you level a brand new character, 10, 20, 30, all the way to 60, you get rewards. And now most of it has to do with transmog, which is fine. That's, you know, very neutral. It's whatever. Uh, you get various amounts of fashion coins. And you can get some, uh, words. You can get some transmog items, like a black top hat or the half-eaten mutton chop, which I think you can get from Dire Mall. Wizard's hat. Royal gown. You know, the mid-autumn uh, mid festival stuff. So, <clears throat> Hollow Zen suit. So a lot of this stuff, some of it rather, you can get already in the game. Others, not so much. But again, it's just transmog, transmog tokens, an item here and there. I'm not too worried about that. Now, if we go down here, the leveling up. Now, this is going to be where I'm kind of tentative, right? So during this event, if you level up a brand new character, uh, I believe you have to... Let's see, there was a time of when you were supposed to start leveling them. Uh, oh, must be created after November 22nd, so as of uh, two days ago. Three days ago, actually. If you get to level 10, you'll get 15 fashion coins. Okay, cool, whatever. The black top hat, which is from logging in, and 15 coins, cool. You get a robot mini pet and 15 coins. And then you get a tabard and coins. And then a 20 slot bag and coins. But the biggest one, you get a mount, a gorilla mount. Now, there has never been, I don't even think in retail, well, but I haven't played the last expansion, so I don't know. But there's never been a gorilla mount before. So this is obviously a very unique mount. Now, that's going to be where I'm kind of iffy about it. The rest of this stuff, I don't care. Even the 20 slot bag, I don't care because at that point, you're level 50 and you're speed leveling, basically. I think you kind of earn it at that point. The gorilla mount, I think, is a little bit too much because, because of the FOMO. This is a limited time event. Now, if this was a challenge mode that you could do whenever you want, do it at your own pace, and by completing this mode that might be a little bit harder than other modes, then you get the Gorilla Mount. Cool, no problem. It's the FOMO that I have a problem with. Now, if they do this event multiple times a year, giving you multiple times to try it out, I'm a bit more positive toward it, right? I'm, I'm shifting a little bit on that scale. But right now, I'm not really too sure, because I just got back from a weekend long, you know, I was like three hours out of town, and I'm coming back and seeing this, well, I'm already three days behind, you know what I mean? So, that's the problem with FOMO, is, you know, people might be out of town, they'd be doing something else, maybe they have a medical problem, and then suddenly they come back, and it's either at the end of an event, at the middle of an event, or the event has long been passed, and now it's like, oh shit, now I don't have enough time to catch up, or I can't catch up, I cannot get this item, now everyone else has this item, but I don't, and that's a problem, and then, if it's one item, which right now it's only one item, it's not as bad, but when you look at retail World of Warcraft, for, for an example, they, there's tons of FOMO items. Like, I log on now, and I see a ton of stuff that, oh wow, that looks actually kind of cool. You know, for retail, it looks kind of cool. I want that. Oh, you had to have done the challenge mode three years ago. Well, fuck, now I'm never going to be able to get that. You know what I mean? So... <clears throat> So really, it's that kind of thing, especially with mounts. Now, uh, some transmog items, like th these transmog items are very neutral, right? That top hat, right? Who cares? But, you know, the 20-slot bag, you've earned at that point, and you can get other 20-slot bags in the game, so who cares? 
it's really the gorilla mount that I'm kind of iffy about. Now, that's not going to... That's not me saying I'm going to hate this event. This event is still, you know, it's a neat way to engage people, right? It's just, my biggest problem is the FOMO. Now, beyond just that, the shop is now going to feature 68 new transmog items to customize your look. And all shop items are going to be 40% off until November 28, which is only three days from now. So again, from when this post, that's like a week and I'm already halfway through, so I'm like, fuck. But anyway, I, I need to actually log on and see what these new transmog items are, and let's bring them to you. So give me one second. Okay, so I've logged on on my uh, boar challenge dwarf, frost boar, and in the mail, I've gotten my first day of rewards. Let's open that up real quick and see what we've got. We've got two coins and the half-eaten mutton shop, which if I look at it right there, that's already in the game. I think you can get it from that uh, ogre in Dire Mall, if I remember correctly. But now let's look at the shop reward. So here, blah, 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 there's fashion. Let's see what we got. Tabard of the Summer Skies, which I can't see because my beard is in the way. <laughs> Same thing with the Summer Flames, which those are the ones that are already in the Midsummer's Festival. So that's not too big of an issue. We already know what that looks like. Oh lagging. Tabard of Frost, Tabard of Flame, those are the ones with the skull. You can't see it because my beard is in the way, unfortunately. Man, darn the dwarves and their beards. Tabard of Nature and Tabard of Void, I believe those are the exact same. Oh, this is kind of weird. Every time I hit the arrow to go to the next page, it like lags out the game. Brilliance and Arcane, those are uh, TGC ones. Dark Moon, Fair Tabard, Tabard of Fury. So, so far they've all been Tabards, but I'm pretty sure there are more. Stor uh, Stromguard Tabard, an Undead Scourge Tabard. Now that one I'm actually interested to see in, but I can see it because of the Dwarf, unfortunately. Maybe I should have chosen my Tauren for this. Tabard of the Crimson and Hillsbrat. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to change characters, so uh, give me one second. Alright, we are now on the Tauren. Alright, so let's go back here. So here's the... Uh, Tabards, Frost and Flame, yes, we already knew about those, Nature and Void, okay, they look the same, but recolors, same thing with Brilliance and Arcane, those are all TGC cards, Dark Moon, Fair Tabard is exactly what you expected, Fury is the same as the other ones, but Gold, now here's the Stromgar Tabard, it's got like a, like an eagle on it, the Undead Scourge Tabard has the Scourge logo, let's see if we can, um, oh, no, no, I don't want to purchase it, I want, no, I'm trying to, um, uh, Control click or shift click or whatever it is to look at it in the um like the bigger one, but it's not letting me do it. So let's see. Hillsbrad, it's a uh, two-headed eagle. The Crimson Legion is it looks just like the uh Scarlet Crusade sigil. Black Mage Weave Tabard. It looks like the Black Mage Weave stuff, but it's black. Well, I mean, it's a tabard, that's what I meant to say, <laughs> but, but it's black, yeah, of course it's black, it's the black mage weave, and red mage weave, but it's a tabard instead of a shirt, is what I meant to say. Gold mage weave. The Sindori tabard, which is weird because there's no blood elves on this server, there's high elves, which makes me wonder if there's gonna be high elf ones, but, uh, Violet Eye, Illidari tabard, that's the one from, uh, TBC. Jaina Proudmore robe. Oh, that's actually interesting. Gilnean robe, which is the same thing, but recolored. I like that. Stormwind Archmage, Tiras Fall Archmage, which is the same ones recolored. Scarlet Archmage, Kultiris Archmage, Dalaran and Lordaeron. Faramore, ooh. Let's see, Robe of the Lotus Pawn. Okay, so those are, um, they look like the kimonos, which you can already get in-game, but they're, um, Looks like we've got a couple of recolors here. <laughs> Look at this gown. Ah, oh, yes, it definitely um, hides my udders very well. If we, let's see, go over here. Oh, I actually noticed that it gives you, like, arm designs. If you, if you see under the uh, shoulder pads there, there's arm designs. That's pretty cool. So let's see, Twilight Star, Evening Star, Dust Star, Dawn Star, Silver Star Sandals, which unfortunately I can't see because I have hooves. Illidari tattoos and Ill uh, blood Illidari tattoos. Hang on. So what is that? That's page 22. Let me take off my chest piece and we'll go back to that. So go that and take off my shirt. It'll probably act as a shirt. Because that's um in... What was it? 22? In the files of World of Warcraft. There they are. You can... The, the tattoos do exist because they're for NPCs. But they're treated as a shirt. 
So, they are green and red tattoos. There's black and purple. I do like those. But, the problem is, they are, um, if they're considered shirts, you're not going to be able to see them unless there's a way to transmog off your shirt. Your, I mean, your, your chest piece, you know what I mean? So, um, I wonder if there is a way to do this. I would definitely do that for a couple of characters. How much are they? So, 12 bucks. I don't know if that's already with the discount, because if that's with the discount, I mean, they're normally $24. That's way too expensive. If they're $12, and then on the 50% off, they go to $6, I think that's fine. It's not the best in the world, but it's fine. Romantic dress. Let's see. Apparel of the bells. Oh, it's... Uh, is that like a winter outfit? I'm not too sure. The Jingle Bell, definitely. Uh, Sermon of the Black Rose. Fall, wait, Paul? Is that what it says? Paul of the Black Rose? Oh, I guess they're black pauldrons? Oh, I guess they're, they're the puffy arm things that go with this dress. That's what it is. Only $3 for those. Grip of the Black Rose. Uh, those are the gloves. Tread as uh, boots you can't see them on my character. Bands of the Black Rose, I guess those bracers. Black Widow's guys. Oh wow, holy crap! That looks like a Superman outfit. Not like Superman, I mean like a superhero costume. Uh, let's see, arms, boots, mantle of the Night Lord. That looks pretty cool. Mid Autumn Festival Hanfu. It's a uh, very Japanese. It's actually got the open chest. I like that. There's your top hats. You got brown and navy. You got black. You got like a charcoal color. Bra uh, brown banded top hat. That one is not showing up for some reason. Green banded top hat does show up. Very Gilnean. There's another gown. Okay, gloves. Those are gloves. We got another dress. There's a lot of dresses on here. Here we go. Now we get a suit for dudes. I, I feel like there's way too many dresses. We need more stuff for dudes. And a lot of these, ooh, the mummy wraps. Because I was about to say, a lot of these are very, like, elegant. Can we get something more primal? Because, like, elegant is good for, like, female characters and, and alliance characters. But what about, like, masculine, orc, and tauren, and troll characters? You know what I mean? And mummy wraps, that, that looks actually pretty cool. That'd be very cool for a Faraki player. Like, if they uh, made their character look like a Faraki, which I believe you can. And this, foot wraps and hand wraps. Another skirts. More skirts that are not showing up. I believe they look... Yeah, they're probably going to look the same, just recolored. More skirts. More skirts. They're just not showing up. More skirts. More skirts. Okay, here we go. Some suits. So, formal suits. Let's see. Gloves. White gloves, which you can't see on my white tauren. Black gloves. Blue gloves. I feel like this is a um, Dr. Seuss book. More white gloves. Vestments of three virtues. Now that one actually looks really cool. That would probably be really cool for like a mage character. Or maybe a priest. There's a red one. Illumin adornments. Okay, very good for blood. Oh wait. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at this one. That one's been in the game for a while. I believe that's um that's an outfit you can get in uh what's it called? Anchorage. It's normally like a gold color, but here's a black one you can get. Uh, good for female characters, not so much for a male tauren. Okay, read colors. Ooh, that's a really nice wizard hat. I do like that. But anyway, that is the end of this video. We've gotten to the end of the fashion stuff. Let me just take a quick look to see if there's anything new in the other stuff. Um, I believe these dragonkin ones are new. I don't remember seeing those. Uh, companion pets. Let's see real quick. A lot of these, uh, oh, those I believe are new. I don't remember seeing those. And the little Ragnaros, too, in the Core Helm Pup. But the rest of them are, like, TGC or they've already been in the game. Let's see. Mounts. Anything new with the mounts? Uh, I believe these, no, Cenarian Hippogriffs were there. It just looks a little bit different because they did change the, um, display of what these look like. So, I might not remember just from how it looks. Yeah, a lot of these are the same. You still have the $20... Um, or no, it's, it's, uh, for every one, right? So that's $200. You got $200 Spectral Tigers. There you go. Oh, the cranes, I believe, are new. I don't remember seeing those. Oh, that's new. Oh, I definitely want that. Yeah, I definitely need to get that mount. Uh, let's see. Glyphs. So these are druid forms. Uh, looks pretty much the same. Gameplay. Now, th these guys I do not like, because I believe these are, uh, a little bit pay-to-win. 
but we'll skip over those for now. Skins. Now, I do believe they added new skins. Uh, ooh, that one's very creepy. Now, if they're grayed out, which means I can't use them on the character I am currently playing, but they will only be colored in if you can use it on your character. So I'm a Tauren, so this Tauren one would obviously work for me. And I believe they filter and prioritize your race or class or whatever it is first, but you can still look at the other ones. So look at the uh, dwarf, you get some wild hammer ones. There's a few new human ones like this uh, frost one, I believe. Let's see, dark iron, earthen, death knight, naturalist, demon for the elves. Uh, demon hunter, female, which is completely nude and I approve because that's how they're supposed to be. Oh, you can actually get a Blood Elf now if you're a High Elf, so you can have your green eyes. You're gonna be a Magar, which has already been in the game. Black Rocks. I definitely need to make a Orc character. I need to make a, a Magar or a Black Rock or something. And then get that Wolf Mount, because that'd be awesome. Let's see. Uh, you have Race Change Tokens. I believe that is new. I don't remember them being in the game like that. Alright, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, getting a little brief look at all of the new stuff coming to Turtle Wow. You can see some of the people already wearing their new stuff. I'll be happy with, oop, give me it back. I'll be happy with just the uh, ham hawk here. So, <laughs> let's open that up. Yeah, give me my little mutton chop and my fashion tokens and put my shirt back on because it's cold out. And I will see you guys next time.